What's going on YouTube? Today is Sunday, September 17th, 2023. <clears throat> so, you think uh, getting live streams and shorts is going to get you your watch hours and get you monetized? Let's talk about that. Uh, last night popped into a live stream and the host of the uh, live stream, and this is only important for one reason, um, had somewhere in the 700 uh, sub range and mentioned hey this this video is playing on another channel please go watch that channel this person needs to watch hours on this live stream and the person said oh, I don't need the watch hours that bad thanks blah 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 and I said I'm glad you feel that way because watch hours don't help you during the live stream they only help you after the fact and I'm gonna prove it to you now okay now a little disclaimer here if someone has told you that watch hours count during a live stream it's not because they're lying to you it's because that's what we all thought that's what we've all just assumed that's been common knowledge that it just made sense okay they didn't know let's clear that up anyway someone in the live stream responded with a very snickered comment that says i don't know where you're getting that information i get hundreds of watch hours in a live stream but you don't and it comes down to analytics and we're going to talk about that as well make sure you watch this whole video it's very very useful um, so I did what I've done before um, being under a thousand subs and unmonetized you cannot co contact Google support which I think is ridiculous um, so I contacted Google support to ask them something I'd already asked them which is this can you do do live stream hours count as watch time during the live stream um, I'm going to go ahead and pop those up on the uh, screen for you to see the conversation. The answer is no, they do not. This is not the first time Google's told me this, and my analytics agree. <clears throat> so I'm going to pop up some of my analytics as well um, to prove this point to you. And I want you to catch some things, okay, if you can, and I'll, I'll help you along the way. I'm going to post my last live stream, <clears throat> analytics. Uh, it's not stellar, but the numbers are easy to work with. So... Let me uh, do this as we go. So it says, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> the video has gotten 68 views since it was published. Very important, okay? Now, it shows since it was published, uh, chat messages were 762. There was a very active chat. A lot of people will say that, you know, you get credit for, for people in the live stream if the chat is active. Again, I've never asked that question. Don't think it's true. Because uh, I've had active chats, in a, less active chats doesn't make a difference. So it talks about since the video was published, 68 views. And watch time was 6 hours and 6 minutes. Now, if you look at the average duration, it was uh, 10 minutes 40 seconds, I believe. Is that right? 10 minutes 40 seconds down at the bottom? Yes. If you do the math, okay, if you take the 68 views and 10 minutes and 40 seconds it comes out to thir I believe in the 13 range um, and I'll show you why if you uh, well, well, we'll get to that at the end okay that's gonna be the last picture I post and it's gonna blow your mind this is why you need to understand your analytics if you look at the community tab I posted yesterday a channel was gracious enough to send me his analytics for the same video one said 13 ish watch hours and one said 0.1 for the same video the same day the same time that the pictures were taken you have to look in the right place. YouTube likes to do this. Um, it'll tell you you have a certain amount of hour of watch time, and then if you go under the Earn tab, you get the real watch time, and it's a lot lower uh, before you become monetized. They do this all the time, okay? You have to be savvy with your analytics to get the real story, and a lot of people don't know that. Okay, so doing the math, it comes out to about 13. Doesn't make sense, right? I hope you caught that. Um, and that is correct. Well, now, before I show you this, this next picture, well, you know what? I'll just show it to you. I'm going to pop up that last picture in my analytics right now. It says uh, 6.7 watch hours. And it says average view duration, 5.53 minutes. Well, guess what? If you take the views of, uh, what was it? It was 68. Is that right? You take the views of 68 and you do the math at the average view duration under that correct analytic of five minutes and 53 seconds it comes out to six hours and change just like it says that is the number that matters okay you do not get credit for the views 
while the live stream is in process, only after it's posted. And that's why it says views, watch time, uh, estimated revenue since the video has been published. That is what YouTube cares about. Now, let's talk about shorts. In order to get monetized with shorts, it takes an obscene amount of money, or of views, excuse me. Unless you're somebody like Andrea Sabotic, probably not going to work. Um, <laughs> if you know who that is, you, if you know, you know. Um, what, so, what shorts can do for you is they can bring you kind of more of the TikTok uh, type of viewer, the, the people who like shorts, but that's not going to help your watch time unless you get an obscene amount of views. Um, it's going to bring up your sub count, but a lot of those subs aren't going to come back and watch your long form content. And that's where you're going to get your watch hours. Now, this is my opinion um, based on what I've seen and friends of mine have gone through um, as, far as, as, far, as far as the shorts go. Um, it seems to be very accurate. Okay, um, YouTube doesn't make it easy to do it with shorts and lives. Now, live streams, absolutely. I think they're fun. They're great for engaging with the community and having a chat and going back and forth. I, I, I think they're so much more fun. I almost like doing them better than regular videos. But if your goal is to accrue watch hours, if you look at a lot of people who do strictly lives um, and they've been doing it for a long, long time, a lot of them still aren't monetized because they have not hit those watch hours because lives don't count unless someone goes back and watches it after the fact. That is all the credit you're going to get. And, you know, I've caught some flack from people about this because they don't know it. I have now proven it to you through Google Chat, and this is not the first time they've said that. I've proven it to you by my analytics and the mathematics that go along with it. Math doesn't care about your feelings. It cares about math. Uh, and that's just the way it is. Uh, not trying to rain on anybody's parade, but I do want to be up front with people, and I want to make sure people know that. Um, you know, I, I was snickered at in that live stream, and I've caught a, you know, a little bit of, of flack here and there um, for what I'm saying. But the proof is in the pudding, and I've shown you the pudding. Know your analytics. Know how to navigate your analytics. Know which numbers are actually true numbers because you will get different numbers in different parts of your analytics. Only some of those numbers are true numbers that truly matter in the grand scheme of things. Um, so don't get me wrong. Lives are great. I, I absolutely love interacting with people on lives. I think it's so much fun. The chat can get crazy. Uh, I love it. Uh, that's not why I do lives. I do lives for that interaction. I do lives for that, you know, so I can interact with another channel and interact with people in the chat. I think they're just, you know, a ton of fun. Um, shorts, I don't do a lot of shorts. It works out for me that they don't benefit me because I don't, I don't like doing shorts. I'm not good at shorts. I can't say what I need to say in a short. Uh, I don't care for doing them. I mean, I watch some people's shorts for sure, but uh, I'm not, that's not the kind of creator that I am. I'm just not good at shorts. I'm a, I'm a long form creator, which works really well for me on YouTube because it's designed for somebody like that. That's why I don't do TikTok. Do I have one? Yes. Do I use it? No. And that's why. I'm a YouTube kid. Anyway, I am not a YouTube advisor. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm going to say, you should oh, go out and get some of this. Some silver, some cash, some gold. Uh, preserve your wealth. Uh, I'm not a YouTube advisor, not a financial advisor. If you could take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the video, comment on the video, Hit that like button, please. Drop that comment. And whatever you do, don't get mad at me. I'm just giving you the facts. I'm giving you the truth. I'm being 100 with you, because that's what we do on this channel. And also, whatever you do, don't forget to keep stacking.